It was a cold night at Solitude for the under-12s of homeside Cliftonville as they took on Oxford United, Cliftonville in red, attacking the goal to our right. We didn't have long to wait for the first goal, an ejection of pace from Oxford's Colin McKay, leaving the Cliftonville defenders in his wake, and United were one up. Then from a free kick it was almost two, the ball coming off the bar, Healy unable to get enough on it to beat the keeper, Hutchin also finding the side netting. Then from a Cliftonville corner, the home side were to equalise. Again, the crossbar playing a part, the ball squeezed over the line by Captain Colin Parker. Cliftonville were to take the lead in the game after a poor goal kick by the Oxford goalkeeper and some clever Cliftonville touches. First from number seven Parker, then sheer grit and determination from Jake Harrison, who stood up to the advancing keeper to turn the ball past him. Cliftonville 2, Oxford 1. Oxford did have a chance to equalise before half time. McKay stabbing a shot goalwards. Then Devlin turning the Cliftonville defence before getting a tame shot away. After McKay hit the bar, the ball finished up in the arms of a grateful keeper. At half time, Cliftonville 2, Oxford 1. Plenty of chances in the second half and the pick of the opening exchanges coming from United. Jake Hutchin breaking on the near side, delivering the superb cross and the sting in the tail delivered by Oxford's number 15 Michael Jones. Something he's no doubt worked tirelessly on. 2-2. Cliftonville in the back foot? Never. And when Connor Hockey pushed forward and spread the ball out wide, Cole Brannigan delivered a cross to seal Oxford's fate. Liam Burns in hand to slot the ball past the Oxford goalkeeper. The game finishing, Cliftonville 3, Oxford United 2. Excellent game overall. Uh, started the game well. Uh, sort of were on top, you know, took a lead. Hit the crossbar, they make a 2-0 and then, you know, they get two quick goals. To be honest, we take the hand away from Cliftonville. I thought they were superb tonight. They knock it about well. They have some real good individuality about them. Um, I think our second goal was possibly goal of the season. You know, um, then we switch off for the switch off for their third and the runner, you know, where the boy uh, guys uh, sneaked down at the back post. But overall, very pleased. We haven't played in the stadium like this before, so they come up to come down to Belfast tonight and, and play here. We're, we're quite happy with the performance and the boys done themselves justice and good luck to Cliftonville in the next round, most definitely. Oh God, you're always happy to progress. I mean, I was a bit mad at times. They started extremely fast. I mean, we wanted to start fast, but they got a goal and could have been two up. Our keeper, our keeper got injured, so we had to play one of the boys in that, young Walty. So, in fairness, he done well for a boy who's not a keeper. So, but as I say, we'll take it. We'll take it in the next round, so we'll... I, from a coaching perspective, a lot more could have been better. We could have passed the ball a wee bit sharper, could have passed it a wee bit crisper. But, again, my job's to coach and our job's to win, and they've done their job. Maybe I could have done my job a wee bit better, but we're in the next round.